another very important aspect of the uh, of the synagogue, of course, is the beautiful the presence of these beautiful chandeliers. These chandeliers have more than 1,000 candles, which will which are lit by hand until today. Because one aspect that we have to realize of the synagogue, there's no electricity here, there's no heating here, and the uh, during the services people could actually get very cold. And also during the candlelight concerts that are now being organized in the synagogue, and people will be using blankets because it's it's cold here. And one of the things that we say about this building is that in the famous Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam one can watch the paintings of the 17th century but here one can experience what the 17th century what the 17th century felt like this is 17th century Amsterdam a wooden floor and the chandeliers with their one with their 1000 uh, candles interestingly um, it, w it is assumed that already from the beginning the synagogue can, can, can house more than 1,500 people that already from the beginning of the opening of the synagogue in 1675 the synagogue was too big. So there was an element of, of pride in the uh, community that, uh, that made them building a synagogue that was bigger than what they needed. There were all, have always been visitors, Jewish visitors and non-Jewish visitors who were to come, but we can, we can assume that not always, that the synagogue was not always full uh, entirely and that there were empty, spa em empty spaces in the benches. Everything you see here is original. That is something that is also very special of this synagogue. So all the benches, all the chandeliers, everything inside is exactly as it was when the synagogue was first used in the year 1675.